so in this video I'm gonna show you uh, how to load the vehicle based template and try to add environment to it and in the next video we're gonna showcase how to add the third person and migrate it and like enable it to possess the vehicle so we're gonna go to game and then try the vehicle and call it vehicle environment I hope I spelled it correctly so we're gonna keep this uh, desktop maximum quality you can change this data this thing we don't need that so create and go to does all right now I already prepared in uh, does the four scenes this is like four this is all like blocks the asset comes with five blocks I arranged them there's an alleyway I showed them previous uh, so I renamed them and tidy them up into those sections now if you want to see how I structured here and how to fix issues with while importing streets and stuff uh, check my previous videos all right uh, so I won't be importing uh, them all together although I can like group these using the the create and group but I want to be able to import each into its own folder so first we're gonna go like uh, plugins import uh, enable the does you have to this do this to every project Let's start now so I, I don't think we are the right way is to like uh, import them all is the scene so you can see the whole city you can place these as I said in a, a group uh, I want to take it one by one okay what we will do now is go to project settings so we can change the directory here we do it for every block that's easier to manage that way so that's uh, block one as you can see all right so now we're gonna start with uh, let's do a folder call it as well like that you can select the first block and do for the rest So as you can see block 1 is under unreal if you don't do this the step before this all subfolders will be under dash to unreal so this is more organized as you can see here is the city let's import another one So as you can see here, if you go to the DAS here, there's two blocks under them. That's the way to, it's better way to organize. I'm not gonna bore you now. I'm gonna do the remaining four blocks of camera and I'll come back. So now all five blocks and the alley has been uh, imported into Unreal. If you go to the content drawer, you're gonna see Urban Alley, you can see them f five of them. Let's see if we can change all that to Nanite Spot Mesh. I don't know if this is the only thing we have to add Nanite to. For now, we're gonna add Mesh. Alright, and we can select all. One second Mesh, okay. And select all right click nanite enable nanite for selected yeah it's working let's prepare static meshes 
I don't know if skeletal meshes should get like no no because sometimes buildings have skeletal meshes for some reason I have to dive into this this shit more but for now I've enabled it all we'll see how much we will improve performance as you can see here the static meshes mesh distance field it's almost gonna finish actually didn't take much time it's a real time okay let's now go to uh, sorry to lit nanite and triangles let's put lit and oh, it's a preparing that's why it's taking a bit long let's wait for the mesh to finish while it finishes we can just check if the let's just use here top down let's see all right here is it yeah it's you see i didn't have to move those here the reason is i already uh, in daz i already placed them the way i wanted but because i imported them here this way here it's easy for me to select and move them so it is almost as much as the main uh, track it's not centered center the state you see to be at the orange it's gonna be in uh, you with open worlds you lose precision due to floating points it's a subject and so on so on but it's not affected by like one or two kilometer or even four it's usually like for very large open world games it won't affect it but it's nice to center it at least you know because this is the main city uh, let's see if we hide the landscape here yeah, this will go on but it still show when we play so I'll save this as new level save current level as we'll call it no no track and we're gonna put it in content let's call it here for the levels Ah, so we opened it now it all disappeared because I think we have to load open level let's see let's just remove the landscape all right let's play and see so it is playable Thing it is oh there's something here from the I think the obstacles before. Let's see. That's what I have to see if there's something here. So this is how we import an environment from DAS, actually uh, multiple environments and organizing them inside Unreal, adding nanite. So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for next video in the series please don't forget to like and subscribe this is very important so that i can make more videos it takes a lot of time for me to uh, fix issues uh, come up with the ideas uh, video record them and stuff and then edit i would really appreciate it thanks